This is News Nation Now. Welcome to News Nation Now. I'm Jeet Suki. It is Tuesday, May 4th. Here's your morning update. Today, millions of people living in the south are again bracing for severe weather. This after tornadoes struck parts of the region Sunday night and Monday, damaging homes and uprooting trees from Mississippi to West Virginia. Two people were killed in Georgia. Today, large parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee, as well as corners of Arkansas and Georgia, are at enhanced risk for the worst weather, according to the National Storm Prediction Center. New this morning, 20 people were killed, including children and nearly 50 hospitalized after a rail overpass collapsed onto a road in Mexico City. Images show two train cars hanging from a damaged overpass. Rescue efforts began but were paused after authorities said the overpass and train weren't stable and could come still crashing down. We'll be updating this story throughout the morning on NewsNationNow.com. Here's the latest on the coronavirus pandemic. Kids 12 to 15 years old could soon be eligible for the Pfizer shot. The FDA is expected to approve the move this week. Pfizer says trials show the vaccine was 100% effective for that age group. Right now, you have to be at least 16 years old to get it. Pfizer is now testing the vaccine on children as young as six months old. Today, President Joe Biden will deliver remarks about the COVID-19 response. Yesterday, President Biden said he will dramatically lift the annual refugee cap from record low numbers set by the previous administration. It will be raised to 62,500 more than four times the number allowed during the Trump presidency. Biden faced outrage from Democratic lawmakers and refugee advocates for delaying to raise the cap. The White House says it first needed to expand the narrow eligibility requirements put in place by Trump that kept out most refugees. And trending this morning, billionaires Bill and Melinda Gates are divorcing after 27 years together. The Microsoft co-founder made the announcement on Twitter yesterday. Bill Gates is reportedly worth more than $130 billion. And despite their split, the couple will continue to work together at their charitable foundation. According to People magazine, the couple do not have a prenuptial agreement, so they'll draft a separation agreement to divide their assets. They have three children. I'm G. We'll be back in an hour with more updates. See you then.